like him punching at me, if I attack first, I got him. I hit him. I can He blocks that. Hit him again. I can clear. Hit. He blocks that, I go boom. its wings for any reason. <laughs> if a bird flaps its wings, it doesn't use the muscles of its wings. This is the muscles of its back. If I try to throw him with the muscles of my arm, this won't work. If I relax my arm, I use the muscles of my back. So it should feel like my scapula are two canvas bags with some sand in the bottom. And the sand has pulled these canvas bags down my back, and that's kind of what pulls my arms over. So this is imagery. A lot of this stuff, um, I'm a city boy, so I'm going to say part of the wild horse is me. No idea what you mean. But, uh, a, a farmer would know that you have the, the horse's hair would be over your arm, and I'd be holding the brush here, and I'd go like that. Okay, so that would be the imagery. So all this stuff, uh, even the Ziba, that's a poem about a monkey king searching for a weapon. He goes and visits the, uh, whatever the Chinese version of Neptune is, and he shows him the needle down there. And it's this big, if I throw it like that, if you throw it the size of a football field, and squash a whole bunch of people, and then shrink back down. So this posture is him reaching down to grab them. And that's the end of the slide. Everybody's seen And that ball from him drawing my sword, he stops me. He's in my hand trapping the one of the sword traps. That's where needle needling the sea bottom. This stuff has been Fair Lady works shuttle. Or Jane, Jane May works shuttle. Uh, shuttle or, or loom. That really big, huge thing. Weave the thread through. And then the loom pulls it across. And weave it through. So this is the, the Fair Maiden pulling that wooden shuttle across. It's imagery that people who live somewhere would understand. It's the same reason we say fire is very important. That's a culture, as opposed to shoulder wheel. So, I'm going to do white green spread wings. I attack. I go under it. This is spring loaded. If he pulls his arm down, this fires. Uh, I'm not pushing so hard that if he pulls his arm down, I fly up into him. But I have a little bit of spring tension, like a, like a tree branch that you, you let flap into your front space. So when so I get this out of the way and pop, and that comes up. And I can grab the back of his head, push this down, and I'm going to gently throw it. Oh, as I as I pull down, I can kick across the ankle. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. If, if you don't kick across. When you push my arm, I can roll. If you kick across and you flip, oh, you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, imagine he's a garuma with head turning. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I equate uh, Japanese terms for all this. Like that cow guy we did in front of my ear, to me that's a regard. Yeah, yeah. The cow guy where we go here, this is a kui knife. Yeah. So I have like, yeah. that's how I, like, when I take my notes, You'll see like Japanese terms in there. If you show it to a Chinese guy, you'll be like, what's the sword of glory? So, yeah. so okay. I chop, he blocks. Same hand chop. Even though he pushes against me, he can't stop. Now I could strike him. I punch, and this goes down. These are the muscles in my back. You can throw really soft. Okay, if you had a big crash mat or if you know how to pull all these keto guys, you can throw each other all you want. Okay? Let's give that a shot. No, 